All right, Jake Bronstein is the editor at large for one of the steamiest magazines on newsstands. Oh, that's, that's why the pages are always stuck together. Oh. Anyway, he's here to help you unlucky daters out there in our audience. Jake, welcome to the show. Grossest thing ever. What? Nervous hand. Sorry. Oh, Live TV, awkward, yeah. uncomfortable. Mm, mm. Thanks for that. Let's just, it's a wardrobe shirt, Woo. so we don't mind. You're anyway. with the FHM magazine. Yes. I'm, a, I'm going to assume that, that most of the audience out there knows what that is, but t tell me about this month's issue. What can we find in, in this uh, month? This month's issue has our entertainment guide, but more importantly, it has the lovely Beth Ostrowski on the cover. How Who? I'm sorry? Uh, Wait, how? no, here you go. Here's the qualifier. Who is it? She is Howard Stern's girlfriend. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Making her third appearance, and actually... She outsells uh, people like Holly Berry when she appears on our cover. Wow, so she has some pool then. But she does, now, yeah. Now, the question is, did anybody know about Beth O before she became Howard Stern's girlfriend? Nobody knew about Beth O before she became Howard Stern's girlfriend. Ah, so that was a good move on her part. It was a good move. So yeah. when, you, when you do, because you do write-ups on the girls, you know, you, yeah. I mean, you have pictures, and Interviews I believe there's text, which is yeah. why I buy it. Sure, for the, for the, the elegant writing. You yes. have some great writers. Sure. Um, so what do you ask her? Do you say, so what's it like being Howard Stern's girlfriend, or do you have to pretend that you care about, you know, what uh, her favorite foods are? Or? Well, the first time around, because she's been on three times, mm -hmm. you, you, you're, it's a delicate situation. Right. Because you definitely want to know about Howard, but you're kind of like, so what do you think of Howard? Right. You know, what do, what you, do you, you think Howard's favorite foods are? Exactly. Right. Okay. But, gotcha. uh, but by number two, you just keep it real. You're like, so what's the big guy up to now? And damn, you're hot. Gotcha. And then uh, by number three, actually, she is she she said this time around she didn't even want to be interviewed. She interviewed herself. So, all right. Yeah. All right. All right. And yeah. uh, not hey not a not a bad spread there. Where she where was this one shot? Do you know. This it? one is Florida, I believe. Yeah, Very nice. Somewhere. Now somewhere in Florida. the FHM. Uh, if you could describe it in a few sentences, I'll attempt, and you, you slap me if I'm wrong. Okay. I'm assuming uh, hot girls, yes. gadgets, yes. things that guys like, yes. in-depth journalism about where Osama's Hard hiding. Hard-hitting. Hard-hitting news. like Newsweek what, meets uh, What separates this from all the other magazines that, that offer uh, hot girls and gadgets and in-depth journalism that guys will like? Because I feel like there's a lot of those magazines out there. Now, do you guys view... At, <laughs> No, it's okay to say that the other magazines are crap. But no, I mean, well, I, I, you know, I tell my mom that it is the articles, but, uh, but I think in actuality one of the main differences between FHM and its competitors is we kind of pack it with the sexy girl next door. Because um, we sort of, uh, I mean, I noticed, at least for myself, mm -hmm. that after you look at these, these magazine girls long enough, you start looking at other girls around you, and you're just like, huh, why don't you look like this? Right. And the fact is they all look like that if you, uh, if you help them. You know, if you if you photograph them and light them, and right, them and use the and smudge tool in Photoshop, sure. just a little creative yeah, tweaking, you know, and not too much. But and the girl uh, next door can look like a supermodel. Yeah, so we so we pack it full of them, and uh, and that's hot. Very nice. I don't it know. definitely is. Definitely. Yeah. Is. Now, there's a section of this month's issue that is supposedly going to help our viewers at home. That's going to there's take a section care of, that. of every month's issue oh, that nice. is going to help the viewers at home. Well, what is it? What is it for this month? Well, to my understanding. And you can correct me if I'm wrong. G4 viewers might not be the smoothest with the ladies. You know, uh, there's something about the video games and the pasty whiteness right. and the obesity yeah. that tends to. Oh. It's, uh, these aren't high on wow. the list of the the women's. So hurtful, so wrong. Uh, you know, yeah. we, we do what we can though. Okay. Well, what 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 we do in FHM? Another way that we separate ourselves from the competition, in fact, is uh, we have a section in the magazine where we allow you to not just interact with the ladies, but perhaps date them, maybe make out with them. and No promises, but no you, promises. there's a chance. No, no, no. Yeah, what happens is we have 20 women per issue and uh, some sexy pictures of them and a little bit of information about them. And then readers can email them through our website. And perchance, if you woo her with your words, she will be yours. And do they know you're offering the service, the girls? Because that's a little on the creepy side. They if you know our eager. viewers. They come. They they. Knock down our door. They wow. claw at our at our door, and uh, yeah, and say, "Find us men." And I say, "G4 Tech TV is where I will find you those men." Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Well, that's if you're in Canada. It's G4 TV in North America. I'm sorry. Right yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about uh, video game vixens. You have some involvement with that. I do indeed. Uh, video game vixens. Yeah, we are we are on the hunt for the sexiest video game vixen, and uh, Hal Sparks, very funny man, is. He's doesn't strike me as a vixen, though. He is uh, not he is, a vixen, he is, no. He's he is more, striking, but... He's like the Captain Kirk of our Enterprise. Okay, we'll take that. Yeah. We'll take that. And, and uh, where's this Enterprise headed? It, it's, it's headed to Sexy Town. 
in a in a very video sort of way, and and I am one of the judges. I Don, guess. Yeah. You're, you're the judge of sexy fan. Clammy Fair hands. Fair enough. Uh. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Likewise. All right. Be sure to check out the latest issue of FHM and visit their website. Guess what, folks? It's FHM.com. Hot stuff. Yeah. Warming up under one of our patented heat lamps. It came from eBay. Brings you the horror of your grandfather's tool shed, and it takes it on the internet. And in case you missed some of E305 live last week, we'll have an encore presentation of Drunk Vader in line for Star Wars, and it's uh, it's scary, folks. It's just scary.